Lincoln Township. First is number 10, Maddie Lemons. And number 12, Josie Lemons. Number 24, Ella DePorter. Number 32, Peyton Honcher. And number 34, Victoria Detra. And we've got some folks watching uh, the uh, Peyton Honchar's grandparents watching tonight from Canada. Okay. So uh, her mom uh, gave me the information there, Ken and Eleanor Parsons. Pat and Sue Hanchar up in Canada, so yeah, welcome. And starting for the Dra Lady Dragons, it's going to be number 10, Samantha Redinger. Next is Bella Staltz, a junior, wearing number 14. Another junior, number 20, Emma Dunlap. Uh, senior number 34, Sophie Bullenbacher. And in the middle, crashing on the boards, it's number 40, a senior Lizzie Edmonds, who has been very good this season so far, offensively, defensively, rebounding, anything really. I see Coach Robbins, her uh, future coach from uh, Holy Cross, over on the uh, far side again tonight. So you can definitely tell he is... Uh, wanting to uh, get as much opportunity to come watch her play as he can. He was here uh, last time I was here for the Winnipeg yeah. game. So. All right, Dylan, you doing play-by-play -play or color? You didn't tell me. Uh, Give me the call. I'll go play-by-play. -play. I'm cool All right. with that. All right. I will color the lines for you. Tips up, and it's going to be Dragon's Ball. Stoltz to inbound. To the ref. Um, okay, are they just going over who went off of, or? I think they're trying to establish who the uh, possession arrow goes to, so they're pointing it towards Morgan Township. Uh, so okay, the since there was no real possession, I yeah. guess and Argus is going to really get it first. Yeah, Argus, Lizzie fighting for position doesn't get it into her. It's Redinger to set up the offense. Dunlap goes to her right. Edmonds now finds Bolenbacher inside, goes up for a strong shot, but gets blocked. So now here's Lemons. You know, with my, with me being unfamiliar with names, I guess I can say Lemons sometimes and <laughs> You'll get, get away a, with yeah. it. <laughs> you got about a 40% chance of being right, <laughs> right now anyway. And once again, here's Lemons, baseline drive, blocked by Edmonds. Picked up by Stoltz, and she'll take it on the left side. And give it back to Dunlap, set something up. Well, Edmonds uh, making her presence known here in the first possession for the Cherokees. Dunlap shot, no good. B, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Coach Robbins is already good with what he sees so far. Oh yeah. Just with yeah. the one. And moving screen. Argus will get the ball back. That is going to be on Detra, her first. Teams first. Snares Dunlap finds Bullenbacher. Looks inside. Hits Stoltz. Makes a move. Blocked. That was a nice move, but really good defense that time by uh, Honchar. Inside Bullenbacher, good defense. 
It was a nice job playing from behind, not uh, yeah, not making fouling. sure not to reach over, right. but get the hand in the cookie jar, steal it. Lizzie, the 15 footer, no good. And so here comes Lemons. And being a freshman, coming in as already the primary ball handler, that's that's a big step coming straight from junior high because we all know it's a huge step from junior high just to JV. Yeah. Yet again, junior high straight to varsity. Yeah, both of the Lemons uh, cousins that started are freshmen, Maddie and Josie. Bollenbacher, no good. Didn't get anything on that shot. And now here's Lemons to take it up the side. I like the aggressiveness of uh, Bollenbacher there, though. Just uh, a little short on the shot. And Honcher is going to draw the contact. She'll go to the stripe for two. Bullenbacher gets called on the foul, her first team's first. Still no score here, 5.43 to go in the first quarter. Good interior defense so far. I think there's already been a total of four blocks combined. Yeah. <laughs> first one, gets a good bounce, rolls in. That one's good from Honcher, the first. And we're getting way for the second. Second one's back iron and out. Dunlap up the right sideline looking for something to develop. There was nothing on the fast break. Inside to Liz. Pump fake, good spin move. Draws the foul. And the Dragons already got, I believe, Detro with two fouls quick. Yeah, yeah, that's her second. She's got both of the Morgan Township fouls. And it Edmonds with her first attempt here from the free throw line. That one's good. And it doesn't look like he's trying to take her out too quick either. Normally you see coaches trying to protect their players with foul trouble early, but with the two, with two and a half into the game, he doesn't seem too worried. One of two for Edmonds as well, so it's a 1-1 tie. Here's Lemons. Tried to find Detra inside, couldn't find her. Good defense by Bullenbacher. And it's going to be a block. Dunlap. Yep. Yep. It's going to be her first team second. So here's Lemons to inbound. Good cut there to draw the contact. It's just a simple things like those easy back doors. Just enough of a fake. You can get anyone with that move. Hearing it Stoltz on that one. I wasn't sure because uh, Dunlap there was, was two, right there yeah. in there as well. So she was fortunate not to pick up her second. Yeah. So Honcher puts in her first. Two for three for Honcher. On Char. Once again, the second one's off. And she gets it back. And there's, a, there's a travel. Picked up her pivot foot, yep. Yeah. You know, that, that play with Hanchar on the floor, I always wonder because sometimes, you know, when you start rolling like that, they'll yeah, call, they'll that, call travel, that travel. Yeah. But uh, they didn't on that particular play. Because mm -hmm. I got, I remember I got called for that against Tippy Valley. I got on the floor for one. I didn't think I rolled that much. I thought I stayed on this shoulder the whole time, and right. I guess I didn't. But, I, I, but yeah, they'll call it. Yeah, I, I wish there was a little bit more clarity on what the actual rule is. Yeah. On that. There probably is. I just need to look it up. But Edmonds, the open 18 footer, no good. Back iron. She had a nice look that time. That's a shot she'll uh, make more than miss. Yeah. And she needs to keep taking that, though, Keep have that, having that aggressive look from mid-range. It's her shot. Maddie Lemons over top of Edmonds that time. Here's Redinger. Finds Dunlap and foul on the floor. I think that one's going to be on Lemons. Well, I hope this isn't going to be one of those games. It yeah. It seems like there's a lot of fouls being called. Yeah. I mean, they're calling them both ways, but it just. Six already, and we're not yeah, even halfway in. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get any kind of rhythm if, they, if they're going to call it this tight. Ooh, Bullenbacher might have had that shot, but it's a good look for Redinger from the corner. No good. 
Way to get a hand in by Dunlap. Gives it right back, though. Here's Lemons trying to draw contact. Can't get it. And but Dutcher's going to go to the line. Dunlap from behind with her second, I believe. Yep. That, that's one of those that you kind of just want to eat as uh, when Dunlap was trying to save that. See, but well, sometimes even. Uh, I get it. She, natural instinct is to go get the ball. When it goes off, if you find a teammate, throw it into her. I think mm -hmm. she thought she saw someone. But in that case, honestly, you just throw it off their foot. Right. Second one's no good either. Well, so far, the... Uh Cherokees haven't really helped themselves from the free throw line. They've had some opportunities, but not being able to put them in. Here's Stoltz, high elbow. She'll go to her left. Nothing there. And jump ball. Good defense. That's going to go to Morgan on the jump. Two for six from the free throw line here in the first quarter for the Cherokees. Yeah, that's not the start for that they were hoping. A little uh, three-quarter court pressure here by uh, Argus. And a kick by Edmonds. One Lemons to the other. Miller on guarding. Way to reach in by Bullenbacher, and now Miller's going to slow things down, find Redinger to set something up. Miller finds Edmonds inside. Good fake. Goes to the middle. Finds Stoltz. Good pass. Can't get it to go. Lidman, Led, <laughs> Edmonds, yeah. another one. No good. You were, uh, you were combining Lizzie I'm and Edmonds. To, I'm <laughs> trying to say so much at once. <laughs> and oh. substitutions now for the Cherokees. Number 11, Maria Lemons checks in. And number 30, Kaylin Kreischer. So now if I'm, oh, yep, not all of them are in. I thought they all were for a second. Finds Edmonds. Good fake. Finds Stoltz inside. Looks to the middle. Edmonds drives baseline. Tries to get a hook. No good. Shots no good from DePorter there. And now here's Miller, finds Redinger. Stoltz on the baseline. Lizzie trying to get position. Miller takes a 16-footer, it's good. Carly and Miller and uh, Coach Butka wants a timeout on that. That's a uh, rotational error there, I think. He wasn't too happy with. And even with that, Carly, that was it was a good shot, don't get me wrong, but there was a little bit of that contest on that other like on this near elbow. And I was kind of hesitant for a second. I was just like, oh Carly, what do you like because I thought she would have reached a hand up, but yeah. I guess she didn't. Still a good shot though. Yeah. You know, this is so in indicative of the way these Morgan Township Argus games have gone. You know, three to four, almost uh Three quarters of the way through the quarter. Yeah. I mean, it's it's always been a uh, defensive, you know, just slugfest kind of game with Morgan Township. Uh -huh. I I can remember, especially if you go to Morgan Township. Do you guys play Morgan Township? We don't. No. Their gym. I mean, it's it's a beautiful gym, but the lighting it just seems dark. Okay. Uh, the floor's kind of got a darker uh, stain to it, and it just seems kind of dark, and it's. You know, if you're not used to it, it could be a difficult uh, shooting gym. Yeah, I could see that being an issue. DePorter, no good over Pullenbacher. No good on that attempt either. Edmonds gets a jump ball, going in for a rebound. Going to be Argus on the jump. But yeah, another floor that I thought was interesting. I didn't know this until this year, Lacrosse High School. Mm -hmm. How they never expanded their floor when they had to, so it's technically considered a, um, a monument gym in the right. state of Indiana. Because I guess what was it, 1950s something? I think it was 53 or 54. They expanded the courts like 10 feet yeah. length, and yeah. they never did. They never did it, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely got a uh, Hoosier yeah. type of yeah. feel to it. And 
You know, they, they've done a nice job, though. They've really fixed that place up. I mean, the, the bleachers are, are wonderful. I can remember going over there when I was in high school. They had a rubber floor. Really? Yeah. Like yeah. our elementary floor? Uh-huh. Here? Okay. Yeah, the old rubber-style floor. That oh. was their floor. And they've uh, they've really done a lot of work to it. And it's a, you know, really neat place to play. Yeah. I don't know. Have you ever had a chance to get down to the uh, Hoosier gym the, where they actually film I Hoosiers? Have not. I want it's, to, though. It, you have to get down here. It's down okay. in, in Knightstown, which is just uh, west of Indianapolis. Okay. Uh, it, it is. You just got to go there. If you're, yeah. a, if you're a Hoosier and you're a basketball fan, you, you just got to go you there. You have to. Yeah. yeah. It's something you got to do. In it's your a lifetime. bucket list kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, we stopped. Uh, Macy was playing in a uh, tournament in Cincinnati, and we stopped back there through there on the way home. And yeah. uh, there was nobody there. And, and the uh, guy that was running the place, he's like, hey, you want to shoot some baskets? And gave oh. her a ball, and she just sat there and shot for an hour. That's awesome. And we talked, and we walked, and went down to the locker room. I mean, everything. You so, know, like, just, it's that whole school? Or is it just the, the gym? It's a gym. There's, okay. it's, yeah, the school has moved on and, okay. you know, obviously been consolidated and everything. But, uh, yeah, they, they preserve that gym. It's just like it looks in the movie. Okay. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. Stoltz got the rebound, tried to put it back, but there was a foul before the shot got up. So they'll have it on the baseline under their basket. Elva DePorter picks up her first, team's fourth. Miller for three, no good. Back iron. Stoltz comes away with it. Still no change in score for a minute. Edmonds, good spin move, no good. Stoltz tries to get one, goes over her back. She looks a little flat on her shot right now. She's got to get a underneath it a little bit better. See, in fouls like those, I, I don't even personally get mad at fouls like those. Like, if you're being aggressive, it's good that you're going for rebounds, you know? Because normally how it goes is whoever wins the rebound battle wins the game. Of course, whoever gets more points wins. Right. Well, the only problem is that's Stoltz's uh, second foul as well. That's true. Here in the quarter. But, you know, they're not real deep. Yeah. And they already have uh, their two guards uh, in two fouls less than uh, a minute to go here in the quarter. Good defense by Edmonds there. The way they're calling that, I'm surprised they didn't call her for a foul there. I, yeah. Edmonds is going to take it herself, looking for something in transition. No one's really there for her. Tries to go herself, draws contact. She'll go to the stripe for two. That one's going to be on Peyton Honcher. Edmonds first. No good. Edmonds getting set for a second. The second one's good. That'll tie it up at four. Here's Lemons. She'll take it up. Find Honcher. And we're going to get an offensive foul on Honcher, I believe. No, not Honcher. It's... Um, Kreischer, Kalen Kreischer, picking that one up. So both teams with six. So we're going to have a lot of one and ones coming up here yeah. in the second quarter. Yeah. Morgan Township set up in a 2-3. Argus going to slow things down, try to get the last shot. Redinger shoots herself short. And that one's going to be Kreischer with the rebound. She's got to push it down the floor quick. No over and back, I guess. Here's Lemons. No good. And we have a low-scoring one going into the second quarter. There's more fouls than points so far. Yeah. After one here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium is 4-4. We'll take a break. Come back with the second quarter action in just a moment here on our All right, after one here, low scoring affair. You said it, more fouls. Each team has six fouls, and uh, each team only has four points after the first quarter. So 
couple of uh, Dragons with some foul issues. Bella Stoltz and Emma Dunlap both have two in the uh, first quarter. Victoria Detra with two fouls. That's the only one I showed. Yeah, that's the only one I show on with uh, Morgan with two. All right. But yeah, we're about to see a lot of bonus shots, I think, in this period. And here's Renninger. She'll run the point to start the second. Finds Bowenbacher. Edmonds on the baseline in the corner. Expands a little bit. Finds Miller. Blocked. Bowenbacher stays with the play. Draws a jump ball. It's going to go to Morgan Township. So here's Lemons. Dragons in a man zone, or not zone, man-to-man -man defense. Dropping back into his zone. I thought they were in man earlier. All right. Well, you said man zone, so you were yeah, covering, I was on the right covering track. all your bases yeah. that way, right? Lemons for three on the wing. It's good. That's the first three-pointer of the night for either team. Edmonds, baseline drive, tried to find Fajardo in the middle. Gets broken up. Bollenbacher, it's a one-on-two. Draws contact and it got the shot to go down and the foul shot coming up. Take another look at that. Nice play there. Second foul on Bollenbacher as well. Lemons free throw shot, good. And that'll put the lead to six. Well, the freshman, Maddie Lemons, eight of the ten points for Morgan Township here in the uh, first half. Edmonds short on the 13-footer. Good pass inside, rolls in. That one's going to be Kaylin Kreischer, I believe, on that basket. Yep. There's Miller in the corner, finds Redinger. She'll go baseline, blocked again. That was DePorter with the block. Morgan Township coming out on fire after only scoring four in the first quarter. They've yeah. got eight here in uh, less than two minutes of the second. Good movement here by Morgan Township. Here's DePorter, no good. And Miller's going to take it herself. Here's Edmonds, thought about it, looking. Nothing there, back to Miller. Edmonds again, she'll go baseline, spin. No good. And Morgan Township has dropped back into a zone on their end of the defense as well and causing some fits here with the uh, Dragons. It really allows them to get that double in on Edmonds. Oh, almost. Lemons looking for the backdoor pass to uh, Hanchar. Just a little off the mark. A little too much mustard on that one. And it looks like the ball went into the hallway, so we might not see it for a minute. <laughs> oh, there it is. Not too bad. Didn't make it to the weight room. <laughs> no, it went down to the senior hallway. Okay. <laughs> Well, that'd be scary in its own right. Oh, I know it. That ball could come back with all kinds of stuff on it. <laughs> Redinger to Bullenbacher gives it to Miller in the corner. Doesn't close out hard enough. Miller, that's good from three. That's what they're going to have to do to pull uh, Morgan Township out of that zone. They're going to have to start hitting some shots, and Miller has five. And normally that's an unusual thing to see because the bottom outside wing should be the one coming out to the corner, but that time the rotation was just off-timed. Lizzie, she'll drive, tries to draw contact, nothing there. Gets it back herself, nothing again. Gets it back and one, got it to go. Boy, I thought if that first one would have went, that would have been something. Take a look at that again as she uh, got two extra opportunities there on offensive rebounds. 
And it's always good to see a player stay with the play rather than just missing the first shot and giving up on it. You often see that now. Edmonds foul shot, good. And that'll close the gap a little bit. It's 10 to 12, Dragons down two. So Stoltz is back into the game for the Dragons with her two fouls. Looks like the Dragons have gone back to a man-to-man uh, -man defense. Bullenbacher, good job staying straight up on that. It's going to be a foul. That should be uh, bonus time. Yeah. Foul on so uh, Kreischer, her second. Edmonds is going to go to the line, I believe. But we're going to have a timeout first. It's going to be a Morgan Township full. Uh, we're back here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium, and uh, Argus has come to life a little bit here in the second quarter as well. They've got the lead down to uh, two, and we should have some free throws, one and one coming yeah, one up for Lizzie Edmonds. And with both teams in early bonus, saw a lot more fouls than we thought we would in the first. It's weird sometimes how that works. You know, you'll get it, you know, six fouls in the first, and then it takes, you know, halfway through like yeah. we are yep. into the second quarter before you actually get into the bonus. Edmonds good on the first shot. She'll get another. Second one, bounces out. That rim, man. It was like that last time we were here, too. <laughs> yeah. Good defense by the Dragons, making sure they get their hands on the ball. Redinger almost got that steal. I don't know if that was a block or just, I don't know. I, I don't think she blocked it. No? I think it was just a uh, bad shot. Just not knowing where she was. Miller just inside the line, got it for two. Well, she had and to get her feet set there and uh, stepped on the line when she shot that, but another nice shot. Carly Miller has seven points here in the first half. And for it gives the Dragons a one-point lead for, I think this is their first lead of the night. Yes. Edmonds the rebound, gives it to Redinger. Miller, corner, thought about it. She's proven to be able to hit that shot tonight. Edmonds looking around. She'll go baseline. Spins. Chucks one up. Almost. That one's going to be Argus possession under the basket. Miller to inbound. Finds Redinger. Bullenbacher back to Miller. Foot was on the line again. That was short, though. Good follow up by Bullenbacher. Almost got it. And it's a two on one. Edmonds on defense. Blocked! Good interior defense by Edmonds there, stopping transition. Oh, has the other side wide open. Here's Miller. She's going to draw contact. That's Lemons. Be her second, and that will put Miller at the line shooting one and one. This will be the last one and one for the Dragons here in the half. They'll be going to the double bonus on the next common foul. Dunlap coming back in for Redinger, and Maria Lemons checking in for Maddie Lemons. Miller's first is good. She'll get another. Boy, Miller is having herself a first half here for the Dragons. That is eight already, correct? Yes, it is. And nine. Got both of them to go. Three-point lead for the Dragons. It's 15 to 12. 
So here's Lemons, Dunlap guarding. Good defense by Miller. Have yourself a first half. Yeah. Edmonds looking around, nothing. Here's Miller, she'll take it. No good, it's short. <laughs> Bollenbacher with the foul there. That's uh, going to be her third. So the foul trouble mounting a little bit here for the Dragons. A little bit, yeah. Hanchar at the line, hits the first. And Redinger's going to check in for Sophie Bullenbacher. Let's see if she can break the streak. She's uh, hit the first, missed the second twice. She hit the first here on her third attempt from the line. And second one, second. no good. <laughs> Long on all of them. Yeah. And here's Stoltz, right sideline. She'll cut back to the middle. Ugh, stolen. Maria Lemons able to get the steal. Blocked by Edmonds again in the middle. Uh, oh, just yeah. barely stepped on it. Trying to dance on that uh, in line there, and uh, Miller just a little bit uh, too far. But good block again there by Edmonds. That's about uh, three, I think, for her. Three or four already here in the first half. And we all know Morgan Township so far has got a handful of them themselves. Good rebound by Stalt. She'll go the other way. It's two on two. She'll slow it down. Edmonds, 16 footer, got it. There it there is. There she, uh, yeah, she starts hitting that. And Just had to get something a little under it. Yep. Morgan Township's going to be in trouble when that starts dropping. Yeah, I don't know. She's just a little behind the ball for uh, a few of those shots there. And she bit, looked yeah. really good on that one. That's what you want, though, out of your senior. You want her to make that adjustment and, yeah. and get that uh, shot to fall. In the corner, moves it out. Lemons takes it into the lane. No good. Rebound Dunlap. She'll move it. Gets it to Miller. Finds Stoltz. Jumper, no good. Way to slow things down by Edmonds, though. Good pressure right after that rebound. Yeah, you like the pressure, but you just want to make sure, and she did a good job there, but you just don't want that foul. Yeah, the especially the 80 feet away from the basket. Right. Floater, no good. Edmonds comes down with it. Artists. Got tangled up there with Honcher. It's going to be Dragons. Dragons ball off the jump ball. 40.7 left, Dragons with a four point lead. Dunlap to Redinger. They're going to try to waste some clock to get the last shot. It doesn't look like the Cherokees are going to try to interfere with that. Down to 14. Now there's the movement. Miller, nothing. Edmonds inside, spins off the glass. It's good. And that'll waste the clock, just what they wanted. Ooh. Almost got it in the last second heave. Well, Edmonds really came to life there in the second quarter. Let's take another look at that turnaround at the end of the quarter. Yeah, she, wasn't getting, that, she wasn't getting that much in the first quarter. Finally knocked down that good 18-footer and then got that one to go, too. So at the half here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium, the Dragons lead 19-13 over Morgan Township. We will take a break and come back with halftime stats and talk a little bit more in uh, second half action here from Argus High School in just a moment on RTC TV4. All right, it's going to be uh, Morgan Township with the ball to start off the second half with the Dragons leading 19-13. And the regular starters are in for both teams. And here's Lemons to start things off. 
Takes it to her left, trying to find. There's the other Lemons. Steps back for three, no good. Only gets the backboard. Inside, draws contact. Lizzie doesn't think so, but if she drew contact, she'll go to the stripe. That's only her first foul. I'm not real sure. You know, she had several similar plays to that in yeah. the first half that didn't get called, so I well, hope they don't uh, start getting into the ticky-tack range. Uh -huh. Well, uh, Honchar uh, has reversed her fortune. Broke the streak, yeah. Yeah, let's see if she makes the second on this one. Yeah, it is so hard to be big in this game now because high school basketball, they don't really look at the inside as much as the outside. And so even when you're getting back down on the inside, it's hard to keep your hands straight up because most of the time refs just anticipation fouls. Right, right. Well, Honchar keeps her 50% uh, streak alive. She just flip-flopped with the uh, making the second there. She's got four points, and the uh, dragon lead is five. Here's Stalt. She'll give it back to Edmonds. Dunlap to Bollenbacher. Stalt's just inside the line. No good. Edmonds Boy. trying to fight. Or Bollenbacher trying to fight for it. Couldn't get it. That thing was halfway down. Popped back out. Here's Lemons. Inside. It's Honcher. Got it. Her first field goal of the evening. And they'll keep trying to cut into this lead little by little. She's got six, three here already in the Edmonds. second half. Edmonds turn around short. Bullenbacher keeps it alive. Finds Stoltz. She'll go to her left. Dunlap for three. Almost. Honcher takes it herself. Here's Lemons from the wing. No good. Lemons back into Honcher. Traveled. I think she was farther away from the basket than she thought she was when she first started her move. It was a good idea to give it to the inside, but yeah, it's just that court awareness. you got to know where you are on the floor. So here's Bullenbacher. Gives it to Redinger in the corner. That one tipped. It'll stay with the Dragons. And it's Stultz to inbound. Redinger looking for Edmonds. Has it on the, not quite on the baseline, but just above it. Inside Redinger. Good movement here by the Dragons. We're trying to wear out this defense. Inside Stultz. Good. And so here's Lemons. Dunlap guarding. Tetra finds Lemons. Thought about shooting. She'll take it to her left. Lemons takes it to her left. Back into the defense, and it's stolen by Dunlap. Slow things down, let things get set up. Stoltz, the jumper, good. Boy, Bella Stoltz is uh, finding her shot here in the second half. That's too straight for her. Five points, four in a row for the junior. Here's Lemons now, Dunlap guarding to Honcher on the top. Seven, seven point lead is the largest of the game for the Dragons. Yeah. Lemons saves it from going out of bounds on the attempted pass to Detra. And this one goes wild, and there's Honcher to save it from going past half court. Lemons thought about driving. Bollenbacher stays straight up. Good rebound, good strong defense. That was good defense by Bollenbacher and a nice rebound. And a good double. Lizzie was coming from the other side with the help side. Lizzie, baseline jumper, good. The Dragons can't miss right now. They're up nine now. You know, when Lizzie starts hitting those shots, there's nothing going to stop her. Yeah. At six foot, you just uh, you can't It's hard to contest, that. yeah. Lemons, foot's on the line, no good. It's going to be Detra, gets it back. Honcher thought about it. Tipped by Dunlap. 
And this one's going to stay with Morgan Township. So what is what is because they don't have her height listed on here. I I always put her at six foot. Yeah, I would say six. Like they have five eleven closer to six foot. So they have Victoria Detra listed on the roster at six, six one. one. Yeah, and I I would say that Lizzie is every bit as taller taller than her. So either she's a little over listed, or maybe Lizzie has uh, grown a couple inches. She might have. I don't know. It's it's like that with some rostering. Like for. Uh, two years, I was always put at 6'4". Like, come on, coach, I have another inch. Give me that. <laughs> and Co then Coach Teal was always like that. He always wanted to go shorter than what you actually so were. So the teams were surprised when yeah, they saw you, yeah. yeah. Some some coaches like to go a little taller, and that way, you know, you. yeah, paper intimidation. Lizzie spins, finds Bollenbacher baseline. No good, short. Zom gets the rebound. She's making her first appearance of the night. Edmonds takes it to the middle, draws the foul, she'll go to the strike for two. But yeah, like uh, me going against Dawson Perkins, I'll go back to this. The roster listed him at 6'7", and I'm only listed at 6'5". I was, I don't think I was shorter than him. Like I was I level with him, you know? Like my yeah. eyes were at his, and yeah. I don't know. It must have been the hair factor or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like I know mine's long, but I think his was just a little taller, you know? Yeah. Lizzie Good on the first free throw. That foul was on uh, Ella DePorter, her second. And we see our first double-digit lead of the night. Edmonds second also good. That'll grow the lead to 11. <laughs> Lemons, good defense by Zom, keeping her around the perimeter. And that one tipped out by Stoltz. 13 now for Lizzie Edmonds. And we're going to get a Morgan Township full timeout. And the Dragons have the biggest lead of the night, 27-16, 3 5 left in the third. One foul apiece. All right, we will take a quick break here and come back with more from Phil Waybright Gymnasium here in just a moment on RTC TV4. Here at Argus High School, Phil Waybright Gymnasium. It's a battle of top 15 teams. Argus Dragons 6-1, number 13 in 1A against the Morgan Township Cherokees, number nine in 1A, coming in at seven and two. 305 to go here in the third. Dragons lead by 11, 27, 16. Dylan, largest lead of the game, and yep. it seems like the Dragons are, are kind of uh, firing on all cylinders. Slow first quarter, got it going in the second, and have just kept rolling here in the third. And they've both done it. They, And, yeah, they've done it without fouling too like last half we saw a lot of fouls the first quarter still three minutes we're about five minutes in and we only seen two fouls this whole quarter i think uh we had argus had six at the quarter break yeah both of them had six in the and first and i think they ended up with eight in the half so they yeah. only fouled two and then three so really in uh almost two quarters they've only had three fouls after six in the first quarter yeah the thing i think most is that they just slowed the game down let it come to them Mm -hmm. instead of trying to go too strong and strain themselves trying to go to it. And you got some girls here that, you know, this is a really big game, and, and they yeah. haven't had a lot of varsity experience. So they're still trying to, okay, yeah, hey, we've got the number uh, nine team in the state coming in here. Uh -huh. You know, they're probably jacked up a little bit, and uh, you know, once they settled in, they, they've been doing really good. As I say that, they turn the ball <laughs> over, but, you know, that's the way it goes. That's basketball. It happens. Oh. Foul by Edmonds. Say she pushed her. And I'll send Detra to the line. That looked pretty clean. Must have got her uh, down say, low. I was going to say, I would have called that a jump ball. Her hand got on top uh, of it. Uh -huh. and Second on Lizzie. Detra 0 for 2 from the free throw line here this evening. First one's good this time. Her first points of the evening. Dunlap's going to come in for Bullenbacher. You know, that's only the second foul on Lizzie Edmonds. I, I think you uh, you got to feel pretty good about where she's at. Uh, Absolutely. You just don't want her to pick up probably that third before the end of the quarter. She just, she just has to be smart, you know. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, there's still ten minutes left total in this game. But, I mean, you can still – get two quick fouls in a matter of 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
That was uh, good defense there by Maria Lemons. She's uh, not feeling the greatest after that, but uh, she did knock that ball out of bounds, so the Dragons will reset. Starts to inbound to Dunlap, and she'll have it now across the midcourt. Gives back to Staltz. Lizzie trying to get position. Has it. She'll go to the middle. Put up an underhand. Got it to go. She'll get the shot and the foul shot. Take another look at that one. That was a sweet little uh, scoop shot there by Lizzie. And she's gotten... A few of those to go. She's done it quite a bit tonight, trying to draw contact, and mm -hmm. she does that time and gets it to go in. 15 for Edmonds. Chance to add one here, make it a 13-point uh, lead for the Dragons. And she and does. And any time you have a player that's scoring over half of the team's points, you know they're going to have a pretty darn good season. Yeah. Especially against another top 15 team. Hunter keeps that one alive. No good, though, on the shot. Oh, even better. Andy was wrong. It's not the Sweet 16. It's the Elite 8. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so, wow. Couldn't have been right the first time. Wow, Andy. Got to get out of the lane. Oh, all right. Yep, there three it seconds. is. This is the first time I've ever seen a ref at midcourt call three seconds. Yeah, I've never. Normally it's the one underneath, but... I'm not de debating it. It was a good call, but I just don't normally see that guy make yeah, that I call. Yeah, I know. It's good that someone was watching, though. Yeah, right. Yeah. Good defense by Staltz. This is a good crew. I don't know the guys' names, but I've seen this crew yeah. quite a bit. I mean, they're they're a solid crew. Almost, she thought about that backdoor cut. Gives back to Miller on the wing. Finds Staltz. No good. A little long on the shot. Thought, thought they would have called over the back right yeah, there, Dunlap but they didn't. was lucky that uh, she didn't get called on that. Yeah. You can see Edmonds there. He, she was wanting Dunlap to make that backdoor cut yeah. there on that wing, and, and she didn't. But that was a nice little uh, turnaround move there by Staltz. Good defense. And Staltz with the tie-up. I mean, Dragon's ball, so good defense. She's not letting Hauncher have anything right now. Or anything easy, that is. Yeah. Now here's You know, Stoltz. I think when uh, when Argus went out of that zone and went to the man, that, that just it made really, a, a huge difference. Yeah, it really did. Because now they can really be more aggressive just with the yeah. uptight, close and personal. Mm-hmm. One-on-one yeah. -on -one defense. Yeah, that was a uh, good move by Coach Jennings. Honcher blocked by Edmonds. That's going to go back to Morgan Township under their basket. Lizzie once again giving Coach Robbins a good reason to be here. Tip by Redinger. Yeah. That'll buy him a little more time. Not on the clock, but. You know, there's always that possibility, too, that uh, maybe there's somebody else that he's got an eye on. That's it true. That's true. Be Lizzie. That's true. Stoltz couldn't get it to go with the left hand, and now with 10, la 10 seconds left. Morgan Township's trying to get a shot. Blocked by Edmonds again. She's got to get down the floor. Gets there. Tries to draw contact. Does with one second left. 1.1 to be exact. Unless they change it. Detra picks up her third. Free throws coming here for Edmonds. And they did well in the first, though, making sure she got those two early. Get her out. Get her off the boards. Put her on the bench. Make sure she doesn't grab anything offensively and give uh, Morgan Township more possessions than they needed to have. So a whole new group for the Cherokees now. Line change. 17 points for Lizzie Edmonds. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not going to say it yet. Eight, eight free throws. Eight for eight. <laughs> yeah, I was I was waiting to say I know, it. I, know, I, I, I don't want to jinx her. Eight for eight from the free throw line. She has 18 points through three quarters, and the lead is up to 15 after three. So we will take a break and come back with fourth quarter action here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium in just a moment. You can see the uh, the progress. I don't know if you've watched any of uh, what they've been doing, but they've had some really good wins. Uh, you know, I, I keep seeing, of course, you know Charlie Adams, who works for um, WKVI now. Okay. Uh, used to uh, be a, a broadcaster out of South Bend. His daughter Grace is a freshman at Holy Cross, gotcha. and, and I think she had twenty some in a game the other night. So. Solid. Yeah, yeah. A good young team up there at Holy Cross for Coach Robbins. Another block by Edmonds. And, yeah, I did see some of it a couple of years ago when my brother was playing there because in conference games the girls would play before the boys and we would always catch, like, the second half, like, into the late minutes of that girls game. But, yeah, seeing some of the things that Coach Robbins did, he had good energy over yeah. by the bench. He was really, really encouraging with those players, making sure they don't get discouraged. Yep. Especially Dun when trying to build a program as young as it is. Right. Dunlap with some nice defense goes to the left hand. Can't put it in, but she's going to go to the free throw line. All right, they're getting into the uh, girls I don't have on the roster now. 33. Dunlap got a good bounce. First one goes. Yeah, there's no 33 here. I was going to look down in the JV. JV. Yeah. If the name's right, Emmy Bland. One for two for the junior Dunlap. Well, that's the best we can do, right? I think. It's the only 33 that we have on either roster, so we'll give Bland her first foul. Lemons, nothing there. Good defense by Dunlap, and she's got a breakaway. Left hand, good. So Dunlap with the last three for the Dragons. Stalt's overcommitted a little bit there. You never want to give up that baseline. Good. And stolen, yes. And here comes Stalt's. It's a three on two, kind of. Slows it down a little bit. Just got a little bit of the rim there. Edmonds trying to stay with it. And so here comes Morgan Township. Lizzie tripped up. Stolen by Stoltz. I don't know if she got tripped or if she just misplaced her foot stepping. Or I, I'm going to say that I, she might have stepped onto Porter because she stopped and, and helped Lizzie oh, up. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking she probably felt like maybe she tripped her. So Okay. Yeah. Stolen by Redinger. She's going to try to do it herself. Go strong. Draws the foul. She'll go to the line for two. That'll be the second on uh, Bland. So Redinger setting for her first. It's up. Back iron. And now checking in is... Number 20, Madeline Easley, coming in for Maria Lemons. Reading her second's good, one for two. And here comes Sloan, gives to Easley. To Porter going in, floater, no good. Stalts the rebound. Thought about it. Redinger from the wing. Good. Drains it. Sam Redinger. Proving once again that she can hit that shot. I can remember last year, so she got her first start against Pioneer. And, you know, obviously Pioneer was just hot as could be coming into that game. And 
Sam came in and, and she held her own and, and then some in that game with her first varsity start. And yeah, uh, she kept the uh, Dragons in it. They gave uh, the Panthers everything they wanted in that game yeah, at Pioneer. Redinger sets up again. Same shot. No good. Well, that in and was out. in and out. Yeah. Dunlap keeps it alive. Fakes. Gives to Redinger again. She'll pull again from the top of the key. No good again. And that one's going to go off of the foot of DePorter. The Dragons will have it under their basket. Redinger to inbound. 5 of 4 left here in the ballgame. Dunlap left alone. Shoots it. Redinger was trying to get her to shoot. She wasn't going to at first. So here comes DePorter. Bollenbacher following. Draws a foul. She'll go to the strike for two. That will be number four on Bollenbacher. Good job conserving those fouls, though, throughout the whole third. Yeah. She had three at the half, so, yeah, she didn't get any in the fourth. Fajardo getting ready to check in. And, yep, Fajardo in for Bullenbacher. How much longer do you leave uh, Lizzie in there? I don't know, because on one hand, uh, I get, I know she wants to stay in, of course, sure. to show out, you know? Yeah. But on the other hand, with a lead like this, you don't want her to get hurt. Right. Edmonds spins. Shot fakes. Another spin. That one's good off the glass. That was a pretty move there by the senior. And it's just that extra patience that you think it doesn't give you enough, like, space. But it creates more space the more patient you are because you just get more time to make a good move. Right. Tipped out of bounds off of uh, Zom. So, yeah, here comes uh, Ava Stackhouse, Alicia Sarver for uh, Edmonds and Dunlap. So some of the younger ones getting some time here with a uh, comfortable lead for the Dragons. This one lobbed into DePorter. Ended up in the hands of Parsons. Going to kind of end up being a de facto uh, third JV quarter here. Yeah. Before we're done. Stackhouse. That was still wasn't bad defense, though, trying to no. keep her out. That was a, a really nice drive by DePorter. Thing is, though, all she's got to do is get her hands up because I guess and they just saw her hands down on the body or something and yeah. that was the contact. Free throw's good from DePorter. She has five points. Uh, I think all right in uh, a row here. She had two free throws in that bucket and the free throw. Zom go picks up her dribble, gives it back to Redinger. And here comes DePorter on Redinger. Tries to draw the charge. Almost does. No call, though. Parsons takes it. DePorter again, top of the key. And Fajardo's going to get called for a reach. It's only the team's fifth, so no free throws. First one on Fajardo. Sloan traveled. Dragons will have it. And here comes Redinger. Gives to Zahn. Here's Sarver baseline. Gives to Fajardo. She tries to do something. Gets a pass out to Stackhouse. No good on the shot. I think that one might have been blocked that time. Blocked? Okay. I think easily got a finger on it. All right. Now it's stolen by Fajardo. Here's Redinger. Blocked. And we're going to get a jump ball. That will stay Dragon's ball. And now checking in is Kaylin Kreischer for Vanessa Parsons. Redinger goes to her left, gives to Zom. Stackhouse drives baseline. Tries to get a reverse tip, though. Good defense by DePorter. Fajardo gives to Stackhouse. Zom now. Good movement here to waste some time. 
Zom thought about it. Here's Redinger on the inside, caught it. Kreischer gives to Bland. Sloan with it. Bland again. And, yep. Hand contact there. It's going to be a foul, I believe, on Redinger. Yep, that's Redinger's first. And Miller's going to check in for Redinger. Two minutes left here, 201 to be exact, a 21 point lead for the Dragons. Zom. Stolen by Zom, good. That's a uh, little uh, touch of what you used to see from her before the injury. Yeah. She, she was a defensive gem. And she, you know whenever she goes on the floor, she's always going to work hard. Yeah, yeah. She just doesn't have, you know, quite what she used to with that hip injury, but uh, she is definitely a hardworking kid for sure. That one's no good. Rebound Stackhouse. Lost it. Nice rebound. She just uh, a little too quick on that outlet pass. And double dribble, no call. See, so here's... Bland now. Give to Kreischer. And she traveled. So the Dragons will get it back with 115 left. And Miller will bring it. Rebound or screen for Sarver. Long pass attempt to Zom. And it's going to go to Morgan Township. And I'm thinking her shoe's untied. Huh. Oh, that's the first one. Um, we only had a minute left. <laughs> you guys used to do a uh, thing up here, didn't you? Yeah, we used the, to keep uh, track. Untied yeah. shoes, yeah. yeah. There was once, I don't remember who Argus was playing, but we counted six. Really? Yeah. Is that like the uh, double bonus when they get to seven and <laughs> you got to play in your socks? Then we, no, then we just start kind of picking on them more. <laughs> I thought maybe the team had to play in their socks after <laughs> seven. That passed a little too hard for Sloan. Here's no good there from DePorter. And we're going to get a foul inside. Stackhouse, She's going to go to the line. It was Zom, her first. Zom, okay. Well, the Porter is uh, four for four from the free throw line. And Spoke too soon. <laughs> I gave her the jinx. <laughs> wow. You know, I was just going to say that just to see if it would work. Yeah. I, I never really got a chance to do that before. Sarver drives baseline. Miller ends up with it. Your Stackhouse, she'll drive baseline. Got it. Nice bucket, Stackhouse. And I don't, I don't know if that's her first varsity basket. I don't, I don't. I haven't watched. If it games. was, I don't yeah. think I was there for it. But it's always so fun to pick up that first varsity statistic. Right. Like my first one, mine, mine. I'll never forget. I'll never forget this. I don't remember my first varsity stat, but I remember my first JV one. We were playing at Tippy Valley, and in the first minute, I got called for a blocking foul, and I just started laughing when I heard it because they had, like, we don't always do it here, but. At the end of everything, like after fouls and stuff, their PA guy goes like foul on whoever, you know, and I, I just hear foul on Dylan Kendrick his first, and I just start smiling. It was fantastic. <laughs> you got excited over a foul. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Who won it, you know? <laughs> I had so many of them, I couldn't keep track. <laughs> well, yeah, this one ends up. Dragons win by 22. It's a 45-23 to 23 finish. 
Well, I never would have expected that, and especially after the first quarter, yeah. you know, being so low scoring, 4-4, and, you know, Morgan Township came out eight in a row to start the yeah. second quarter, and it's like, uh-oh, you know, what's going on here? And then the Dragons went on a, I think, 13-0 run. Something like to, that, yeah. To, you, uh, you know, take the lead, and then they never looked back, and yeah. they just kept building on that lead. You know, they, they led by six at the half. They led by 15 at the end of three, and they win it by uh, 22. So they just uh, they won every quarter. They tied the first quarter and won the second, third, yep. and fourth quarters. That's how you win a game, right? Yeah. You, you win every quarter.